What's going on good people? In today's video here for Vampire, I'm going to give you guys a few tips on how to find the necklace lost by Seymour Fishburne. And this is for the mission, a simple token of filial love. So with that on, let's get started. So you can acquire this mission by speaking to Seymour and he can be located in the dock area. Let me show you guys exactly where we're at on the map. So if you head south from the turquoise turtle pub and then make your way off in this direction, if I can get past that wall. Make your way up over here. You will see Mr. Seymour Fishburne over in this location, sometimes patrolling the area. If you go ahead and speak with him, exhaust all the conversation options, and you will eventually get this mission. So where can we find this uh, lost necklace? So make your way down these stairs, and then you will eventually come to this block pathway right over here. Let me show you guys exactly where this is at on the map. So as you can see, we're kind of north from the hint marker point so we head north from the turquoise turtle pub north from the little hint go down those stairs make your way to that area on the map and this is where we're at so all we need to do man is uh bust through the debris and then bank this right and search the body that's glowing in the dark from seymour to my beloved mother stella fishburn that sneaky bastard it's locked, all right. So now we have a few options, man. Um, we can either give the necklace to Seymour or his mother. But on a side note, if you want to open that chest, I think we need to embrace Seymour, in which we'll get a key. Uh, maybe somebody can let me know in the comments below if I'm incorrect about that. Uh, also, too, man, if you wait long enough, Seymour will eventually go in this uh, house over here where his mother is at, which brings up the opportunity for an eavesdrop. If you're interested in that, all you need to do is go to the house window on the left side peek through the window and you will get the um, option to eavesdrop on their conversation. I'm going to show you guys exactly where this is located at. So just in case you're interested in more um, backstory between these two, you can do this, man. Uh, but once you're ready, man, you can give the necklace to either him or his mother. Uh, we're going to give the necklace to his mother first to see what she has to say about the current situation. Good evening, Mrs. Fishburne. May I come in, please? Of course. Dr. Reed. What can I do for you, Dr. Reed? I believe you may find this necklace of interest. What is it? I don't understand. It's a gift your son was hoping to give you. But I'm afraid it links him to the nearby murders. You mean this belongs to one of his victims? Jesus. I knew this day would come. Please, Dr. Reed, accept this for your trouble and leave me be. This day? You mean you already knew? Are you buying my silence? I will not be an accomplice in this. What? No, no. My son's crimes distress me more than you can imagine. But I'm his mother. I love him, I do. So if you want to, man, you could go further into the dialogue options and ask us some more personal questions. Uh, but for right now, man, let's go ahead and see what the initial conversation that Seymour has if we give him the necklace. Good evening, Mr. Fishman. Yeah, yeah. I have retrieved the gift for your mother, sir. Great. Give it here then and take this for your trouble. I also found the corpses. The ones under which you left the necklace, Mr. Fishburne. Ah, so that's where I left it. I can be a bit stupid sometimes. Have you no remorse? You don't even deny your crimes. I have many weaknesses, Dr. Reed, but lying about who I am ain't one of them. You're not a mindless animal, Seymour. Surely you have something to say about these murders. Speak up and I will listen without judgment. Could be right, Dr. Reed. Maybe it'll do some good to confide in a gentleman like you. You being educated and all. Once you're done with that, if you want to, you could also ask him some more personal questions. I don't think the conversation differs that much other than the initial uh, talk that you had with them. And also, too, the only difference is depending on who you give the necklace to, it will add to their overall XP points, which can only be uh, cashed in after you embrace them. 
Uh, so folks, that is pretty much that man. I just wanted to give you guys this walkthrough video for Vampire showing you guys where to find the necklace lost by Seymour Fishburne. And this is for the side mission, a simple token of filial love. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. As always, I appreciate the support. And with that there, fellas, man, I guess I will see you guys in the next video.